Have you ever wondered what goes behind those memorable logos, catchy patterns, and brand images that just stick in your mind? It is so much more than just a splash of color or a fancy font. It is a complete journey. A blend of research, strategy, creativity, and a little bit of magic. Every color, every line, and every design decision is a word in the brand story. Hey there, I'm a brand designer and today I'm pulling back the curtain to show you my complete brand design process from start to finish. From the initial client brief, diving deep into research and brainstorming, all the way to presenting the final logo and brand. Whether you're a fellow designer, a brand owner, or just someone curious about the creative process, this video is just for you. So, are you ready? Let's dive into the word of brand design. First stop, we have the client brief. This is exactly where our journey begins. A client brief isn't just a document. It's the heart and soul of what a brand wants to convey to its target audience. It sets the tone, gives direction, and it's our blueprint for everything that follows. Here's our brief in 30 seconds or less. The brand we're working with is called Matchables. They want to position themselves as a vibrant and playful brand, and they specialize in creating innovative matchables based products for health conscious and fun loving consumers. Their product portfolio includes matcha lattes, matcha flavored snacks and matcha infused beauty products. Their main goal is providing high quality matcha products and unique flavor combinations that will make everyone enjoy matcha. Their main target audience are health conscious individuals, young professionals and everyone who enjoys the matcha trend. And they aim to appeal to a wide audience from 18 to 45 years old. So those are the main goals of our logo design. The logo should embody the essence of fun and playfulness while still communicating the premium quality of the matcha product. The brand wants to focus on a fresh vibrant color palette that includes various shades of green to represent the matcha of course, but also incorporates other bright and lively colors that evoke a sense of joy and excitement. As for typography, they're open to a variety of fonts, but they prefer something that is modern and easy to read with a touch of whimsy. The primary focus of the logo should be the brand name, but if we can incorporate any playful match-related icons, this would be a plus. Matcha Bliss appreciate the aesthetic of brands like Tpix, David's Tea and Happy Matcha. What they like is this combination element of playfulness and health consciousness in the branding. The key elements we need to include in our brand design are primary logo, secondary logo, color palette, suitable typography and mock-ups so the brand can envision their logo in action. Now with our client brief in hand, we dive into the world of research. This is true detective work, diving into the industry, understanding the competitors and figuring out what makes this brand truly unique. It's all about finding clues that will guide our design decisions. Some key design trends in the matcha industry in 2023 are, for example, sustainable and eco-friendly packaging, vibrant and natural colors, hand-drawn elements and illustrations, custom-made typography, retro aesthetics, and wellness and health messaging. With our research done, we now move on to brand strategy and creative direction. In this stage, we define the brand's voice, its key messaging, and how it wants to be perceived in the world. Before we continue with the creative direction and mood boarding, we need to craft a brand strategy. This includes things like mission and vision, target audience, positioning, story, and key messaging. Matcha Bliss mission is to craft premium matcha products that inspire wellness, delight, and sustainability while nurturing a vibrant community of matcha enthusiasts. Their vision is to become a global matcha leader, setting new standards in health conscious innovation, quality, and sustainability practices and making every match a moment a joyful experience. Their primary target audience are health conscious young adults aged 25 to 35 who seek wellness and flavor in matcha products. And the secondary audience are young professionals and trend enthusiasts who embrace novelty and innovation in matcha. They want to be the premium destination for health conscious young adults seeking wellness and flavor in their match experiences. Their brand archetype is the creator, including traits like like playful, vibrant, modern, sustainable, innovative, and community-driven. The brand promise is to provide matcha products that inspire well-being and joy while prioritizing quality, sustainability, and community. Now, based on our brand research and brand strategy, it's time for our creative direction. 
This is the stage we get the sparks of inspiration from colors to typography, textures and imagery. During this stage we set the ambience for our brand story, laying down the mood and getting the approval of the client before creating the actual brand design. We're gonna craft a suitable mood board to present to the brand so they have an idea of what the visual direction of the brand will look like. Let's quickly go over our mood board design and the creative direction we've chosen. First, we want to use clean sans serif fonts with personality. This will make our brand feel contemporary and approachable. Next, we want to feature high quality images that highlight the natural beauty of matcha, its vibrant color and its use in various product applications. We want to feature a fun retro style mascot character in the form of a matcha cup. We're also going to create custom hand-drawn illustrations and a brand pattern that communicate a sense of craftsmanship and authenticity. And finally, we're going to feature a vibrant color palette with various shades of green to represent the matcha. But we're also going to balance this out and include other bright and lively colors such as pink that evoke joy and excitement. With our mood board ready, it's time to start brainstorming ideas. I personally use mind mapping and sketching on Procreate to bring my ideas to life. This is the stage where the first visual concepts start to take shape. Sketching gives me complete freedom to test out as many ideas as possible before actually jumping to Adobe Illustrator. it's time to design the logo. The first thing we need is a suitable typeface. Choosing a typeface is so much more than just picking pretty letters. It's about finding the right tone, style and character for your brand. so it's time to dive into shaping the wordmark using Adobe Illustrator.
gonna create a monogram that our brand can use in smaller spaces, such as a profile picture on social media. Now it's time to pick our color palette. I'm using several photos of matcha and strawberry as inspiration for the actual colors. But our canvas isn't complete without the details. Creating custom illustrations and pattern design for our brand adds even more character, making it resonate with the target audience and stand out even more. Our brand elements ready, it's time to see them in the real world. Creating mock-ups helps us and the client visualize how the brand will look in real life scenarios. Let's see how our brand comes to life. There we have it. As you have seen, each step in the branding process plays a crucial role into shaping the final design. A brand is so much more than its logo. Investing the time and effort truly sets the brand apart, resonating with the client and the target audience. Thanks for joining me today. If you have any questions or comments related to brand design, please leave them down below and I'll be sure to check them out. If you want to discover your brand personality or want to learn how to craft a successful brand identity, you will find those and many more freebies on my website. Just head to Design and go to the resources page. I will also leave a link to the freebies in the description box below, so definitely go and check them out. If you found this video on brand design helpful, be sure to give it a like, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for more videos like this one. And if you have more free time, check out this video where I show you my full logo design process for an e-commerce brand. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video.